Shatole, Shatole, Shatole. After we dominated the Saints, after you said you want them to win. <laughs> you should get the crying Jordan face right now, Judah Tribe. They, man, somebody in the DVE, can you please have a thumbnail of Judah Tribe and the crying Jordan face? That shit would be funny, especially if they lose this Sunday against the Lions. No, not if, when they lose. Fuck if. They will lose. <laughs> shit. Team garbage. They're trash. You're so desperate. Man, Chicago's so desperate, man. It's not even funny. But y'all y'all talk all this shit like y'all big, big and bad, man. <sighs> Fuck the Bears. Fuck the... Fuck Chicago. Y'all want to talk about fuck Detroit? Fuck Chicago. Look what the White Sox doing, bro. They going to come out. Y'all want to be like Detroit so bad. The Chicago Cubs going to come out with a Chicago versus everybody t-shirt and have it on the market. Have it as merchandise. Get the fuck out of here. You and then it looks, the, the, as far as the logo and the, and the font, it looks exactly like how Detroit versus everybody font looks. Y'all trying to steal our shit and try to make it your own. Look how fucking desperate you are. Look how desperate you are. If you think I'm making this shit up, go look it up online. I swear to God, the Chicago Cubs are selling that t-shirt. It says Chicago versus everybody with the same font and everything as Detroit versus everybody. I'm not bullshit. <laughs> That's when you know you fucking desperate. Y'all want to be like Detroit so bad. <laughs> Chicago so fucking desperate. <laughs> Y'all so desperate. Y'all, y'all like y'all want to be like Chicago and Detroit at the same time. Y'all say y'all the bootleg in New York. That's all y'all is, man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Second rate motherfuckers. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Y'all want to talk shit about Detroit? Get the fuck out of here, man. Second rate ass bastards. Fake, fake New York having motherfuckers. Y'all even try to talk like some New Yorkers. That's that's a shame, man. Now let's get to the shot failure pool bears real quick. Jay Cutler is a bum ass quarterback and he's out for the season. Even with him, he's still garbage. Y'all still trash. It don't make a difference. Y'all wasn't gonna win the game any fucking way. Now y'all got bum ass Matt Barkley, a third string quarterback. You don't think you're gonna just come up in here and carve our shit up. Don't think you're going to just come up here and carve our shit up in the fucking den. Because that ain't going to happen, bro. Not Matt Barkley. <laughs> Not in the den either. That ain't happening. Where the, where the Lions really show up. Where the Lions really show up. <laughs> At home. That ain't happening. You're going to lose this game. You're going to have a toilet brush stuck up your fucking ass. And you're going to have a dick shoved up in your mouth. <laughs> That's how I see this game going. You gonna go in that bitch. We gonna go. The Lions gonna go up in that bitch. At home, turn the fuck up, ready to fucking smash your head in. We gonna treat you like a fucking prostitute that's laid on our payment to our pimp. We gonna treat you like that. We gonna treat you like a family that's laid on the pavement to a fucking landlord. If you laid on the pavement, you get the fuck out the house. We gonna treat you like that. <laughs> For real. Use a joke. You should toilet. You should toilet for a reason. We call you Section 8. We call your field Section 8 field for a reason. <laughs> Judah Tribe. Nothing to. No, nah, fuck that. You want to be like me and the motherfucking DVE members, man. So fucking bad. And speaking of DVE members, shout out to Everything King for reaching 1,000 subscribers. He might surpass me up one day. I ain't gonna lie. He going at the eat that pussy 445 rate as far as his, the, how fast his subs going up. I mean, mine's going up too. Now, my, should I just gain like, like 30 subscribers in one day? <laughs> but still, that ain't shit compared to what he doing though. But you know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. King, shout out to you and the rest of the DVE members though. Now back to Dude, child, you want to be like us, man. You want to have a connection with other Bears fans like me having a connection with the other DVE members and other Lions fans. You want to have that connection. You do. 
Just admit it, you do. You might talk to one or two other people, but you y'all not deep like DVE is, man. DVE is deep, boy. Y'all some wannabes. And then you got the like I said, you got the cubs trying to take our shit and try to try to steal our shit and try to make it to their own with their fucking t-shirts and shit. Shit's unbelievable. Want to be like us. Taking some of our ex-reject players like Willie Young and try to sign Joy Bell earlier this offseason. Well, earlier in the season, excuse me. You're going to sign us. You're going to try to sign Joy Bell. There's a reason why Bob Quinn got rid of him because he's not worth being a starter. He's not worth being in the rotation. He's not good anymore. He was never really that great to begin with, to be honest with you. He was the worst starting running back in the NFL. Matthew Stafford, the quarterback, was a better running back than Joy Bell. So, with that being said, that tells you enough. And Stafford is slow as a runner. <laughs> I mean, he's he's got enough speed, but he ain't fast. But anyway, as I was saying, you should toilet, and that's why you're going to lose this game. Matt Barkley will throw at least two interceptions in this game. And you're going to need more than just Jordan Howard to beat us. I'm going to tell you that now. Because that shit ain't going to fly again, bro. You, you ain't about to just come up in the den and think you're just going to win with just Jordan Howard. That ain't going to fly. You're going to need way more than that. And I'll shine Jeffrey out too. And Kevin White, he's not even a threat. I'm not scared of Kevin White. I don't even know if he's healthy. I ain't heard of his name all season for real. He was supposed to have been this great receiver and shit. This dude turning out to be a bust. Just saying. And then you got Jeffrey out, his steroid taking ass. That dude shooting steroid needles up his asshole, trying to make his ass powerful and shit look like motherfucking um, having Mark Henry strength in this bitch. Have, looking like the rock off of WWE in this bitch. The fuck you mean? <laughs> I remember that shit, Judah Trial. He got into it with Eagle, um, Desert Eagle 90, dog. That shit was funny than the motherfucker. Desert Eagle 90 clowned his ass. <laughs> Just like how he get, he gonna get clowned for the rest of the week against a DVE like he always does. And then he gonna come out earlier this season after he won against us talking about DVE dead because you beat us? Please. Stop dreaming. Stop Man, just stop it. Stop hallucinating, man. You are. You really are hallucinating right now, man. <laughs> DVE is stronger than it was the last time you faced us, man. We getting stronger and stronger. And we man, we were strong before. DVE is not going to die. We the real we the real versus everybody, not Chicago. Y'all trying to steal everything from us. Y'all even trying to rap some of y'all rappers even trying to rap some like some like Detroit rappers a little bit. Y'all trying to steal some of our shit. It's a joke, man. Shot failure. The Bears is a joke. I know you're gonna say, oh 16. You the only team to go on 16. Go get a ring, bitch. That's all these ringless teams. And I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Don't worry, the Lions gonna get their ring. And when they and when we do, we're gonna rub it in your motherfucking face. I'm a, I swear to God, when, when we win that ring, man, you're going to be one of the first people I mention. So you can get your fame because you know you want our fame from the DVE. You know you want the fame from DVE, bro. You know you want that connection. You know you want to be like us. I don't hate you or nothing. Nothing personal. I'm just keeping it real. You want to be like me, just like... <laughs> You want to be like me just like how Chicago want to be like New York and Detroit combined. It's the truth. Only thing you got trending on your own is motherfucking Black Lives Matter. That's the only thing you got that's trending by yourself. Other than that. And thought and the word thought. That's the only the word thought and Black Lives Matter is the biggest things in Chicago right now. Other than that, they ain't got shit. We got our own shit, which is DVE and this and it should stay that way. Now you trying to take our shit. Fuck out of here, boy. Fuck you mean. 
Fuck the Bears. They're going to take an L this Sunday with them ugly-ass colors they got on. They need to change their uniforms with that nasty-ass shit. That shit look like... <laughs> man, the Bears, their uniforms look like... It look like the color blood from... You know how blood look like when you watch that shit? It turned out all orange and shit. They got that type of orange. You know, that's how the orange on their jerseys is. It's like it's like blood when you wash it in the washing machine and put it in a dryer and shit and it turn out orange instead of coming out of their own clothes. That's how the fuck your orange look like. You look disgusting. You period blood bears, man. I can't stand you motherfuckers, man. Fuck the bears. DVE, stand up. Let's go take this motherfucking win. Let's take care of our business game by game. Don't think ahead. Let's do this shit. And the thing is, Stafford, he going to make you a fucking victim. Stafford going to make your defense a victim, man. Oh, we picked on Stafford the last time. We was out of sync, man. Bad play calling losses that game. This time it's going to be a different story. Stafford going to carve that shit up. Our defense going to lock Jordan Howard ass the fuck up. We going to stop that shit. And you're gonna be one dimension. You gonna we basically gonna make you one dimension. We're gonna take away something. We gonna take away your game, man. Stafford gonna he gonna take a shit in your motherfucking mouth. Ever since that loss in week four, I know he's been looking forward to this game. So that being said, Lions, please beat this fucking team. Do it for us, man. I'm tired of these fans talking shit in my comment section. I'm tired of these Bears fans talking shit in general. We need to make, we need to put out a fucking casket and put them in the damn casket. We need to make them dictate to us again. We need to bury this team once and for all for the rest of the season. Make them get the top draft pick. Fuck the Bears.